Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. Well I must be because it says there. <laughs> Shout out to uh, RDX, our glove sponsors. Thank you very much for the last box of gloves. And uh, I'll then give me a pair of these. I'll have to get Mick Whale to come round and show me how to show, show me how to work the bag. We've got bag of rain, haven't we, in the factory? But moving to a bigger factory in Barnsley in a couple of months. So, so it's all looking good, isn't it? It's all exciting. It's like as Adam Smith says, exciting times ahead. Exciting. This is Adam Smith, isn't it? Exciting times ahead, exciting times ahead. This is why we love boxing so much. No, it's why you love boxing so much. Mr. Bean, Rudder Bean, Coulda Bean, Shoulda Bean, Baked Bean, stop talking. Right. Now, where was I? I've jotted a few things down over there. I'm going to do a quick blast with some videos before I go do my two hours daily game of snooker helps me think but uh, I don't think these gloves are as good as them Lonsdale on Steffi Ball give me I think they're loads better but, but uh, talk about a lot of people are going to say oh you're digging Tyson out again Porky no I'm not digging Tyson out but uh, I want to talk about Tyson Fury at the moment because there's a lot of talk isn't there he's going to fight Trevor Bryan he's going to fight Jarrell Miller Is that where we're at, Tyson? Gerald Miller, Trevor Bryan, the Lanier heavyweight champion of the world. Fury power! Fury power! Fury power! Power court! This is what I've got to say to the Fury power group and to Tyson Fury and his team. Tyson, who have you ever knocked out at world level? Well, how many world title fights has Tyson Fury had where he's dropped somebody? Boom! How many? Did he drop Vladimir? Did he drop Wilder? He's had two world title fights. Two. It's another Tony Bellew job, isn't it? Well, it is, isn't it? Tyson Fury is a... English, British, Irish, Commonwealth, European and a world champion, multi-weight, world, multi-belt world champion, ring magazine as well. He's got all that, but when you scratch the surface, just scratch it a little bit. He didn't fight David Price when he were knocking everybody out, did he? Did he fight David Price? No, 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 no. Didn't fight David Price, why not? I'll tell you why not, because he was icing people, wasn't he? He didn't go nowhere near David Price. Dillian White. Has he gone anywhere near Dillian White? Well, Dillian White's off at five. Dillian White says he dropped him in sparring. Dillian White says, I will have a straightener with Tyson Fury in the street. Tyson's a fighting gypsy, isn't he? He's a fighting gypsy that don't fight. Fighting man who don't fight. I don't get it. I don't get it. Yes, he's got a great story. But I think we all know 
the, the nandrolone, the cocaine test, then we've got the refusal of the third test, the one where Peter Fury chased Varda down the street and then went, what have you done? What have you done? Well, I told him to fuck off. There you go, that's what you're up against. Now, as far as I'm concerned, Tyson Fury is a magician or the myth. That's what we can call this video, Tyson Fury. The magician or the myth. The magician is going into the ring and showing all your skills like he did against Vladimir Klitschko when he beat him comfortably on points. But Vladimir Klitschko was in his 40th year and his second to last fight. He was in his 68th fight and in his 40th year. Tyson was in his 28th year and in his 25th fight. Timing in boxing is everything. Do you understand? Timing is everything. Now, the people for Tyson Fury are going to say he's great, he's the Gypsy King, he's the best thing since sliced bread, sliced bread. He's better than Ali, or as Stig points out, he's the greatest ever. Well, the people against Tyson Fury, or the people that are questioning that, are going to say, one world title win. Got dropped twice against a technically awful fighter. Probably the, the technically the worst ever guy to hold the world championship belt. Technically the worst. Charlie Martin is technically better than Wilder. Now, but Wilder's got the equaliser. So, that's where we're at. I'm sorry, but all these people that are running around, going on Twitter daily, and tagging me in. Don't tag me into shit. I don't want my name. I don't want my channels tagged into Fury Power. I don't want it, Stig. Take it out. I like you, Stig. You're likeable, but don't be tagging me in shit. Going on about Laniel stuff. It's a load of shit. Two year drug ban. Backdated. Retired, vacated, call it what you want, but you don't do that. Take a backdated ban, retire and vacate, and say you're suffering dep with depression, and then do all that, but then decide to come back and say, Oh, everything's okay. You can't do that. This is why it's been hard for Tyson over the years for Mick Hennessy to get fights now. That's how I look at it. From the outside looking in, you're dealing with a genius, but borderline crazy. He, he, you know, you like that, aren't you? That's why it's been hard to match him over years now. Tyson, I was there on his debut. He fought on Carl Frotch, John Pascal Undercar. I was sat behind his family. Tyson won on his debut, he only fought a Dosser, didn't it? Dosser, didn't it? Fair enough, but he can fight. He can fight. But it's been hard for people to, to, to get him right. This is where I take my hat off to Ben Davidson. Well done, you've got his head right. Ben Davidson's got his head right, and he's keeping him ticking over all the time, but Peter always got him into shape, didn't he? But Tyson looks like he's a happy bunny now. Well, that's good. Because he's getting all praise now, which is what he should have had after he beat Vladimir, shouldn't he, really? People should have said, well done, and they didn't. They sort of shunned him. And I think he took rejection a bit bad, and he sort of come out with some outlandish things. I think now that he's on the right path, I think that's good. But the mask keeps slipping every now and then, doesn't it? Like, the mask slipped with this Dillian White spark. So this is how I look at it. There's talkers, Tyson, and there's cheese and onion walkers. If you've got a problem with Dillian White, go and fight him. 
Go and fight Gillian White, give us all a pay per view and put it up to 25 quid. I ain't got a problem with paying 25 quid to see Tyson Fury, Gillian White, because I'm of the opinion that Gillian White is the real deal. You know, I've thought about it, and if he beats Rivers at weekend, he's the real deal. You'd have to put him in mix. But you can't fight Tom fucking Swartz, the, the second best ranked heavyweight in the fucking world, but yet he's 56 on box rank. Tom Swartz is a fucking nightmare of a fight. <clears throat> Tyson was spiteful against it. Yeah, because he knew who we were in with. It weren't spiteful against Wilder, were it? He were picking and poking and fumbling about and well, that's what got him dropped in 12, otherwise he'd have won fight, wouldn't it? I don't want to hear all these people saying he won the fight. What a fucking draw! The results are draw. Get over it. It's like I got over the Kessler fight with Carl Froch. Gotta get over it. I got over the fact that when Carl Froch beat Robin Reed, he didn't beat the Robin Reed that Carl Zaggy did. I thought Robin Reed beat Carl Zaggy, but he lost a split decision. So it's down as a loss. That's how it goes. I thought Kovalev beat Ward. Ward got the decision by one round on three judges' cards. It's a loss for Kovalev. Get over it. We move on. We move. Awara Davis is saying he lost. And then he's saying it could have gone either way, but he got the decision the other day. Move on with decision, you won Awara. Tyson drew against Wilder. That's what the judges had it. A draw. It's a draw, so you correct it. You don't fight Tommy Swartz and then start throwing Trevor Bryan in mix and Pulaf. Pulaf's waiting for Ruiz Joshua, isn't he? He's going to wait for that. Now, Tyson needs to fight Wilder. If he fights Wilder... I tip my hat. If Tyson Fury beats Wilder, he's best heavyweight in the world. But for me at the moment, the heavyweight mix, it's all a bit messed up, isn't it? Everybody's staking a claim to being best. There's a fault with every single one of them, isn't there? Dillian White, for example. He didn't fight Joshua in rematch. He were offered millions. He didn't take it at Wembley. Tyson's not rematched Vladimir... Wilder straight away. Tyson, and everybody keeps forgetting, Tyson uh, didn't fight Vladimir in the rematch. For some reason, he didn't want that fight. Now the Fury Power! The Fury Power Cut! The Fury Power Cut Brigade are going to say, yeah, he won't right, he won't right. Weren't right? Fucking hell, when has, he, when has he ever been right? Tyson's got my number. He texts me anytime he wants. I'm not saying anything here that I wouldn't say to his face. You can't keep making these statements and not backing them up. You can't come out and say, We've, we made the Wilder fight in a heartbeat, and now this rematch is all shrouded in mystery. Can't do that. For example, the same Deontay Wilder's broke his arm in sparring. We've got text messages here from people in the industry who are, very, who are a lot higher up than me. Kev! 6,200 square feet it is! Any good? Two, alright. So. It is what it is, isn't it? But uh, Dennis says it's too small. So this is how I look at it, right? Dillian White, he's not back. The Joshua rematch. Tyson, well, it looks to me like he's dragged kicking and screaming into this Wilder rematch. I don't think it's going to happen. I'll go on record. Fury against Wilder rematch does not happen. I'm going to go on record and say that. If it happens, Tyson, you're the man. 
And if you beat him, you're an even bigger man. But I'm going to say it's not going to happen. It's all smoke and mirrors. So Tyson's not fighting Wilder. He's calling out Trevor Bryan, Pulef, Gerald Miller. He's just fought Tommy Swartz. Tommy the Machine Gun Swartz. So that's Tyson out of the way. White fights Oscar Rivers. He's got enough on his plate in the next couple of days against Oscar Rivers. But he's already knocked the Joshua fight back. Then you've got, but White's got a victory over Parker who beat Ruiz, so he's in the mix. Yui Fury lost against Parker, but we thought he won. But in the record books, it says Yui Fury lost. But he put up a good show against Parker. And Parker beat Ruiz, Ruiz beat Joshua, so Yui's in the mix. What's Yui, 18 or something on box work? Is, is, is it top 15 with IBF? Yui's in mix. So, he says, can you use it to help him out? I don't know what I could use it for. Talking a bit, alright then. Yeah, there's no, no good, I would. No, I could think about it. Right, right, I'll tell him. Uh, he says, he's, there's the note you can, note you can do with it. So, alright man, I did try a few, pal. Alright. So, at the end of the day, right, the heavyweight division is... Uh, nobody, nobody's staking a claim at it at top to, to, to dine in at the top table. But if you want to go by belts, Andy Ruiz has got four belts out of five. Wilder's got the other belt. Joshua White and Fury don't have a belt. Luis Ortiz, he doesn't have a belt. But Luis Ortiz won winning against Wilder and he got knocked out. Tyson Fury were winning against Wilder when he got dropped and he ended up a draw. Things happen, don't they? Other people come up on your shoulder. It's like when you're doing an 100 meter race, you think you've won race. I've seen it on here many a time on them compilation YouTube. Somebody thinks he's won a race or something. Somebody comes up on the shoulder. It's sport, isn't it? It's, it's sport at high level. Now, as far as I'm concerned, Nobody's got a claim to be best heavyweight in the world. It's all shrouded in mystery till they all fight each other. Yes, people can say, oh, Tyson Fury's fought Wilder. Yeah, but the outcome's, the outcome's not what we're happy with, is it? It's like Frotch Groves, isn't it? Nobody were happy with it finished. Carl Frotch can say that, you know, he threw 16, 17 punches and Groves never fired back until it was too late. Now, so they rematched, didn't they? And Groves got iced, but Tyson didn't rematch him straight away. He fought Tommy, Tommy Swartz and he fought Brazil Wilder, who Joshua had already beat, beat up a few years ago. You know, it looks to me like all these heavyweight guys, it looks to me like the businessmen. They're all wanting to play, they're just playing the game, aren't they? Look at Dillian White. He's not fought for a European title yet. Nobody is calling out the European champion, are they, Caballel? Who's calling Caballel out? Nobody wants to go near Caballel, European champion. You know who will probably fight Caballel? Probably Dave Allen. Dave Allen will do it, won't he? To try and get a belt. Because he hasn't got a belt yet. Dave will probably fight him, because he'd fight anybody, Dave Allen. Now... Skill-wise, you'd have to say Tyson's best, wouldn't you? Power-wise, you'd have to say Wilder. That's why it's a perfect fight. But is it going to happen? I don't know. You'd think that the top rank would want it. We want money the shelling out, wouldn't you? But we're going to see, aren't we? But as far as I'm concerned at the moment, I don't know who best is. I don't know. I keep changing my top ten every day. You know, there's something that happens every single day that changes my mind. Dillian White could win this weekend, probably will do. And then everybody will be saying he's best thing since sliced bread. But yet, he's, he's had four pay-per-views after the weekend. He's not fought for a European title yet. He's only got one belt at home, British title. So, as far as I'm concerned... Nobody's staking a claim to being the best heavyweight. Not Tyson Fury, who is four year without four year without a belt. Tyson is. Come on, four year without a belt, and he's best heavyweight.
People who support somebody, right, listen. All you Tyson Fury fans, sit at home. Just sit down, look onto your TV screens, get box rec up and put Tyson Fury box rec and look. And it'll say 2015 win on points over Vladimir Klitschko. Mandatory challenger. He beat Vladimir. Win. And then it'll say four belts plus ring belt. So he had five belts four years ago. How many belts has he got now? Fury power! Got no belts. No belt whatsoever. What he's got is a great story of losing weight and and all the rest of it. I don't believe any of the rest of it, but he's lost all that weight. Good luck to him. Good luck to him, but when you've got free drug tests that you're going to face charges on, you've got to come out with a story, haven't you? When you're looking at a 12 year ban, four year each, but four year for each count. Liam Cameron got four year for a cocaine test. Four year ban, Commonwealth middleweight champion, world rank number 12, four year ban. Tyson Fury had a cocaine, an androlome, and then a refusal. Now a refusal, refusal is supposed to be the worst one of the lot. A refusal. What did he get? He accepted a two year back data ban. Then he said he'd be vacating the belts. Or oh, did he do that before? Then he said he'd retired. I mean, I've got direct messages of Tyson here this long saying he's retired and never fighting again. I'm not going to go into detail, it's personal. Tyson is saying that he's retired, vacated and whatever. What did he do? Myth or magician? I'd say magician, but surrounded in, it's as regards, not shrouded in mystery, what's the word? Making the most of your talent. Stig always gonna, goes on about that, doesn't he? Tyson making the most of his talent. Fury power is about getting up and going and making the most of every day. What, fighting Tommy fucking Swartz, Te Trevor Bryan and Pulev? Come on. Wilder rematch. If Tyson Fury beats Wilder in a rematch, he's the man. He is the man. Till then... I don't think any of them are the men. Joshua's fighting Ruiz. If he beats Ruiz in rematch, Joshua, Eddie will say he's the man, and all the Eddie fans and Joshua fans will say he's the man. If Tyson beats Wilder, all the Fury Power! Power cut. All the power cutters will be saying that Tyson's the man. Tyson, really, were on his, he, were, he were a couple of minutes away, wanting from. The greatest comeback ever. Now, whether he won it by a round or drew, whatever. He didn't win it by six or seven rounds like people are saying, did he? Come on. Get with it, programme. He got dropped twice, fighting up back foot in America as a challenger for a WBC belt. Come on. Get with it, programme. Sit and watch the fight and score it with the fucking volume off without John Rowling crawling out the crack of Tyson's arse. Do you know what I mean? And when John, John Rowling crawled out the crack of Tyson's arse, he said, fucking hell, I couldn't breathe up there because we, we had Frank Warren and Barry Jones up there. No, no wonder he couldn't breathe. They were all crawled up his arse. And then after the fight, they all dropped out of it. <laughs> hey. Get with fucking program. Unbelievable, but people believe what they want to believe, don't we? But like I said, Tyson Fury, the magician or the myth? Well, the myth is when you're coming out with pure lies. Lies. Massive, monstrous lies. I don't know if it's for self promotion or what, but once you're coming out with utter shit, and I mean shit, utter shit. About giving millions to charity. Fucking hell fire. Come on, it's utter bollocks. You want to come on channel, Tyson, or any team want to come on channel and show me proof on my channel that you have given millions of pounds to a charity 
in California for homeless people. If you want to come on my channel and show me that, I'm all ears. I'll even make a donation myself. Alright? I'll get Kevin to make a donation next door. Because we don't believe it. I don't believe it. He may have thought it, but he didn't give it. He wants you to tell a lie in life. Gotta tell another to keep it going until it becomes a big burden. Then one day when you're about 70, you write a book, don't you? And you admit it was just for a bit of promotion. You're only banter. Too late though now, isn't it? They're trying to create this American apple pie thing. Once you start coming out with monster lies like that, you have to shut it down straight away. When Coogan Cassius, who, from what I've heard, Eddie Hearn said to him, if you want to do any more interviews with me, Coogan, you need to start asking Tyson Fury some proper questions. And I feel for Coogan, really, because he didn't really want to ask him that, because it's his mate. But, when you start playing dangerous games, like being YouTubers, you've got to go out there and ask the proper questions, haven't you? It's like these YouTubers, I feel sorry for them that go to these shows, you know. Do you know why? Do you, know what, do you know why I feel sorry for them? I feel sorry for them for the simple reason that they want the press passers, don't they? They're not going to say to Billy Joe, come on Billy, you've been calling out Canelo and Triple G for four years now, and who are you fighting? Martin Murray, that's been cancelled twice, you're not fighting anybody Billy. You're calling out Callum Smith but you're putting terrible offers to him. Billy Joe Saunders is going to get left by the wayside, isn't he? Fantastic talent. But I think he'd do better with Eddie Hearn. I do, honestly. I think Tyson would do better with Eddie Hearn. Who's to say they're not going to go to Eddie? Because Eddie's the king of bullshit, isn't he? But I want to see proper fights. That's what I want to see. I want to see proper YouTubers ask proper questions like Billy Joe Saunders. Why is it for four years we're talking Billy Joe Canelo, Billy Joe Triple G, Billy Joe Callum Smith for the last couple of months now, but no it seems to ever happen for Billy Joe, does it? Why is that? Is it because he's a Southport, he's slick, and uh, he doesn't sell a ticket, or what? I don't know, is it because people don't want to work with Frank Warren? I want to see Jacobs against Billy Joe at 160, or even 168. I want to see fights like that. I don't know why Billy Joe don't get the fights. He's obviously a world class fighter with immense skill, just like Tyson. I don't know. I don't know. They don't seem to get the fights. Who have Tyson Fury and Billy Joe Saunders beat in their careers? Who? <laughs> Billy Joe's best wins, Andy Lee. He beat Eubank, he beat Lemieux. But who, has, who was Tyson beat? Vladimir. Steve Cunningham. That's it. You can't count Chisora twice, can you really? He never won a world title, has he? I don't rate Chisora. His style's made for Tyson, so... Who's Tyson beat? Got a massive profile, but who's he beat? Who? They're back for money. They're not back for belts, they're back for money. I don't see anybody wanting to fight for any belts. Well, they don't need to fight for a belt when they've got an imaginary Laniel. They've got people on social media going on about Laniel and blah de blah. Keep your comments coming though. I want to see pure hatred in your comments for this video. I want you to stick it to me. Stick it to me, cos, you know, we've got sponsors on board now, so. It is what it is, isn't it? Stick it to me and let's see how much hate you've got inside your all you fury power gimps. Gimps from Gimpville Island. Come on. Tommy Swartz. You're only as good as your last fight. Tommy Swartz. That's it. One before that, crawling off at floor twice against Wilder. That's it. That's what I'm seeing. I want to see wins, I want to see Tyson Fury fight Wilder and put it to bed. And then I want to see him fight Joshua. I don't want to see him fight Lewis Ortiz, he's too old now. He's an old man. 
he's been knocked out by Wilder. I want to see proper, 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 proper fights. That's what I want to see. Proper fights. I don't want to see rubbish. There's too much rubbish in boxing at the moment. There's too many people pulling wool over people's eyes. Nobody in any fucking division is fighting anybody. Who is fighting unified fights at the moment? It's a fucking mess. We've got Gavin McDonnell. Hmm. He's fought a guy for the world title, right, in Chicago on a big show. He's now fighting Jamie fucking Spate. A journeyman with 35 losses, is it? Over 25 losses or something. Jamie Spate, journeyman, we're losing records, fighting Gavin McDonnell, who's just fought for the world title. I mean, what the fucking hell's going on here? We're going from one extreme to the fucking next. If Gavin McDonnell had any balls, he'd fight Josh Whale, wouldn't he, at Christmas at Barnsley Metrodome for, for good money. Do you know what I mean? That's what I want to see. Proper, 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 proper fights. Do you know what I mean? I don't want to hear bullshit. There's too much bullshit at the moment in boxing. Too many people dining out on utter knackers. Utter knackers. It, it, you know, heavyweight division, it's the blue blue ribbon division for boxing, but where, where, where are we going with all these heavyweights? Fury power! He's best on, according to Ring Magazine, so we have to go by that, don't we? But nobody really agrees with that because he's not got a fucking belt. He's not even got the Ring Magazine belt. <laughs> he's just number one, isn't he? But you've got people who who don't say a fucking word. None of these YouTubers dare say a fucking word. If anybody's got a problem with what I've seen on this channel, come on, channel. Pick up the phone, DM me on social media. I'll give you the phone number. Or give me your number and we'll speak on the channel. If you disagree with what I'm saying because, like I said, all we're getting is a load of shit. Do you know what I mean? Tyson Fury, the magician, or the myth. That's what this video is called. So peace out, keep on trucking.